it's April the 10th and I'm out here looking for some turkeys this morning I'm gonna sit up here a little bit and hear if I hear anything gobble and kind of get a pinpoint on where they're at um, and then I'm gonna put the uh, youth days hunt on here from last Saturday our season starts in about four days so hopefully we'll have some birds on the ground on camera here in just a couple of days well it's April the 7th it's youth day and I am on my way to head up to get my boss's kid for uh, the youth day hunt this morning the weather was supposed to be terrible this morning but it looks like it's getting a little better so we'll just have to see how that all plays out but hopefully we can get a bird on the ground this morning some birds up here and hopefully we can get on one and Brian can get a shot at one I'm not exactly sure how old he is he's probably like 11 or 12 I think so we'll see how people are seven and it's you stay well, we are in a bad predicament. We sat down to wait for it to get light. And all of a sudden, there was a turkey in its big butt and watching us. There's a gobbler to the left. Well, it's been somewhat of a crazy morning. We came in on these birds by accident and uh, got right underneath the head. Finally, all the turkeys have finally flown down. They flew over top of us into a field behind us. Uh, the gobbler gobbled, I think, 26 times. Was that right, Brian? 26 times on the roost. So we're going to circle back around, try to get on them, and hopefully get a setup on them. Hey, guys, we're uh, hunting for our second time of the day, and we did not have any luck this morning. So we're up here in the other farm, up here in Draper, and there's a, hopefully... I don't know if there's any turkeys up here or not, but we're fit to find out, so stay with us and see what happens. It's about it's about two thirty in the afternoon here. And this is a pretty big chunk of property. There's a light rain falling and so we're just gonna watch all these fields here. See if any of these turkeys coming out to the fields and hopefully we can find a gobbler that's either by himself or I know this time of year it's kind of hard to find one by itself, but getting one maybe we can get inside its bubble or something like that and be able to call it on in. So probably doing a lot of walking, but hopefully we can find a bird.
set up on the on the top side of the lake. Well, well the the good news is is we finally found a strutter. The bad news is is he's about probably about a thousand yards away and we've already walked what seems like a mile. But there's a strutter, he's got a tag, that means we've got a bird to go get. So we're gonna give it a shot. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Got a big walk with no water, but. Yeah, it's going the wrong way. But that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll let them go through. And we'll go set up again. We gotta let them pass over that hill before we can move on them. right behind it. If it comes up top of the hill, shoot it. If it comes a little farther, shoot it. Reload, reload. You hit him. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta get up. We'll see where he goes. I hit him. I don't think so. Brian did not end up getting that turkey. So, hopefully we can get Brian a turkey a little bit later on in the year. Um, coming Saturday, we're gonna really start hunting hard. That's when our season opens. So, hopefully we'll be getting some pretty good footage out there um, the this morning didn't really hear nothing uh, that's not really abnormal because that's kind of how that place is it has a history of not really hearing anything the first couple weeks and then really getting fired up towards the end of the year I know there's birds there I've seen birds there so we'll probably be hunting that spot but um, we'll just see how it goes hopefully we have a good year never know so we're just gonna we're gonna hunt and we're gonna have fun that's what it's about <laughs>